Hello guys, this is Revolution and on this video we are going to be talking about basically a verse battle between Android 17 and Golden Freezer. So in terms of this verse battle I'm talking about presently, right now, right after episode 127 to this date. As it stands, I'm going to tell you why Android 17 would spank Golden Freezer. Now after episode 127, after Android 17's sacrifice to basically help Goku and Vegeta recover in their fight against Jiren, I don't think too many people would argue that 17 got tier levels. But prior to the last few episodes in which Android 17 has literally blown us all away, a lot of people had Android 17 below Golden Freezer in the rankings for who was the most powerful Universe 7 fighter. People usually obviously had it Goku, Vegeta, Freezer. Some people even had Gohan in fourth and Android 17 generally came fourth or fifth. I always argued that Android 17 was third, but obviously until we needed to see more things progress in the series, it was hard to argue because Android 17 has only just made his return. But I think I believe I can conclusively say who would win this verse battle now and it would be Android 17. Now, usually when I do verse battles, I don't reveal who I think would win till the end. But here, basically I'm going to tell you why Android 17 would beat Freezer because the power levels they have aren't worlds apart, but other things definitely do set them apart. Other abilities, characteristics, traits. Unfortunately in our community, there's the black or white fallacy that basically if you have a higher power level, that automatically means you win a fight. Sure, if the power advantage is too big and can't be equalized by abilities or techniques, the higher power advantage would win. But if there isn't a significant difference, there are equalizers. Now just before we delve further into this, I just want to say I don't hate Frieza. This is not a Frieza hate video. Frieza is the most iconic Dragon Ball villain ever for a reason. That is because he's a great character. Anyway, it's not a Frieza hate video. So first we're going to start off with power levels. Like I said, the power levels between these two aren't too dissimilar. The best way to scale their powers amongst each other are their fights against Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Toppo in Dragon Ball Super Episode 125. We will start with Frieza because it's the easiest one to do. Frieza in the Resurrection of F Saga was stated to be stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Goku at that time. However, his downfall in that fight was his stamina because he hadn't trained the form correctly before jumping into a fight with Goku. Anyway, fast forward to Dragon Ball Super episode 95, we find out that Frieza has been doing mental training in hell, he's been visualising killing Goku, typical Frieza, and he doesn't have the same stamina drain as he had before in Resurrection of F. Now let me make this clear, just because he doesn't waste as much stamina using his golden state in his true golden form, doesn't mean he has unlimited stamina. We saw in Dragon Ball Super episode 124, upon trapping Dispo in a field area with Gohan, that he can burn through his stamina. But in episode 95 of Dragon Ball Super, he knocked out cold Super Saiyan Blue Goku. It was stated by Whis and Beerus that Golden Frieza and Super Saiyan Blue Goku were a match, though you could argue that Frieza was still in his golden state despite being unconscious. So who knows, maybe he would have gone on to win that fight had it been more than a one punch contest. Golden Frieza is high tier Super Saiyan Blue level without a doubt. Nothing in the Tournament of Power has contradicted that. You could make an argument for a Kaioken times maybe a small number, but he is relatively high Super Saiyan Blue tier. Then of course there's Android 17, who has made a triumphant return to the Dragon Ball franchise. Dragon Ball Super Episode 86, we saw Android 17 push Goku to Super Saiyan Blue levels. Goku stated he never intended to use Super Saiyan Blue in this fight. I mean, Android 17 was literally smacking a post-battle of God's Super Saiyan Goku about. And even after his sparring match with Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Goku stated that Android 17 was still holding something back. At that point, it was still hard to scale Android 17 against Super Saiyan Blue Goku because Super Saiyan Blue Goku is known for literally suppressing his power. But as the tournament has gone on, it's become clear that Android 17 is easily high tier Super Saiyan Blue level. With his Android barrier, he burrowed through Anuraz's attack that was literally holding off Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta, Ultimate Gohan and Golden Freezer to ultimately epically body Anuraz's key sensor. Fought toe to toe with the leader of the Pride Troopers, Toppo, who in the Zen Exhibition match was shown to be 
at least relative to Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10, possibly greater, forcing Toppo to power up just like he did against Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. However, upon this version of Toppo powering up, he started to overpower Android 17 despite Android 17's infinite energy. This is where Frieza jumped in and together they took down this version of Toppo. Obviously, I'm not talking about God of Destruction Toppo. After that, God of Destruction Toppo literally wiped the floor with Frieza. Android 17 was able to hold God of Destruction Toppo off, not because of power though, but because of strategy, and we'll get more to that later. So I think it's fair to say that both of these characters are high tier Super Saiyan Blue levels, potentially low tier Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken levels, but ultimately the important point in this contest between the two, their power levels aren't significantly different. So with power levels, I would say it's a tie. There may be marginal differences, but they are relatively close to each other. The next category I often look at are fighting abilities. Now, Frieza generally relies on his power. He tries to use brute force to win his battles. We know from the resurrection of F Saga that he's never trained, which means he's likely never trained in martial arts. But obviously you can count his four months of training whooping to Goma, whatever that's worth. However, Android 17, upon being an android built by Dr. Jiro, Dr. Jiro sent out a bug that literally scouted all the Z Warriors, which included Mecha Frieza, and installed the information into the Android's biotechnology. Of course, that doesn't pertain to the resurrection of F Saga, but at the same time, it's irrelevant because basically what this means is that Android 17 does know martial arts. Now, this isn't to say that Frieza isn't a good fighter as well. He makes good use of his tail, which comes in handy quite a lot and often can serve as an equalizer to higher speed or power, but he generally relies on his brute force and he has some devastating moves as well. For example, the death beam, he can really incapacitate opponents with that move but essentially, he generally tries to overpower his opponents. But for Android 17, amongst knowing martial arts that he collated through the information Dr. Jiro collected, he also has demonstrated his intuitiveness by applying real life situations that he was confronted with in his wildlife reservation and apply them to battle. With all this said, Frieza is no joke when it comes to fighting ability, but at the same time, Android 17 just far surpasses him in this category. The next category I like to look at is intelligence. Android 17, once again, has shown his intuitiveness in this tournament, applying real life situations into the battle, helping him win fights strategically. He has proven to be a strategic genius. I would say he even surpasses Piccolo and Vegeta in terms of his strategic prowess. He's intelligent enough to stay calm and observe what is happening in front of him to make the best conclusion. Frieza, on the other hand, once again, is by no means stupid. But Frieza's problem is, is he allows his emotions to overpower his logical thinking and makes rash decisions. If Frieza could put his ego aside, yeah, sure, you could say that Frieza's intelligent. You wouldn't be able to run a galactic empire the way the Frieza force was ran without intelligence. He was also able to outsmart somebody else who was considered quite intelligent, and that was Frost. But at the same time, if you go back to Resurrection of F, his ego got the better of him, and he rushed into a rematch with Goku, and ultimately, it didn't end well for him. Android 17 is calm, collected, evaluates situations, and intuitively applies himself in battle. So once again, Android 17 takes the intelligence category. The next category and most fun category is the abilities and techniques category. Now this is an interesting one because Freezer's endurance is impeccable. In terms of endurance, hands down, he takes this category over pretty much anybody in the Dragon Ball franchise. So obviously you've got to be reasonable about this. If Freezer had the same power level as Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 Goku, Frieza would have the better endurance because that's how his body composite works. I'm sure you all remember after Namek blew up, Frieza was literally in pieces in space yet survived and got rebuilt into Mecha Frieza. That's his bodily functions allowing him to survive. Remember, he doesn't have regenerative abilities that the likes of Cell and Majin Buu have. This is the endurance of his body alone. But as we saw against Super Saiyan Goku on Namek, as we saw against God of Destruction Toppo in Dragon Ball Super Episode 125, endurance can only take you so far. However, Frieza also has his supernova attack, which basically if you scale up to his true golden Frieza levels at full power, should be universal plus in destructive capacity. However, being an infinite model Android, Android 17 has unlimited energy. Now let's just get this straight. This doesn't mean he can output 
a larger amount of key than somebody like Beyond Blue Vegeta, who can output larger amounts of key than 17 despite not having infinite energy. This just means he can literally keep going forever. He doesn't tire. If you were to fight Android 17 for one hour, he would be fighting at the same intensity in minute 57 as he was in minute 3. Toppo recognised this in episode 125 and realised that he had to take Android 17 out quickly because Android 17 would ultimately outlast him. Add on top of that Android 17's prized Android barrier. Now the thing about this Android barrier is basically you can attack Android 17 with large amounts of key and Android 17 blocks it. Android 17 can hold this Android barrier up for as long as he wants and he wastes no key because he doesn't have any stamina drain. Whilst you're attacking, you waste your own key attacking this Android barrier. So if Android 17 uses his Android barrier and Golden Freezer hits it with 20 death beams, that's wasted energy for Freezer, yet Android 17 wastes nothing. Not only that, we learn Android 17 can put up multiple of these barriers in episode 127. However, these barriers do have a limit. They can be smashed through, as we saw God of Destruction Topo do, and Jiren in episode 127. Freezer does possess the power of paralysis, but for him to pull this off, he would need to take his opponent by surprise, but Android 17 seems very alert. Android 17 doesn't have regular key either, nor does he have GOG key. He has a different kind of key that's exclusive to Androids, so Freezer would struggle to locate Android 17. Whilst Freezer's endurance is incredible, it would only last so long, and ultimately his techniques would literally be negated by the Android barrier. Android 17 takes this category again, unlimited energy, he can literally fight at Freezer's level a lot longer than Freezer can fight at his own level. Last but not least, the last category is mentality. Now, Freezer's a savage. You do not want to give Freezer an opening, otherwise he will take it, and he will literally slaughter Despite you. Despite once being evil himself, Android 17 has become a calm and collected person that analyzes all opportunities, and quite frankly is too aware to be caught out cold by Freezer. Now when the going gets tough for Freezer, Freezer doesn't quite get going. In fact, his ego takes over and he starts to lose his mind. I mean, we've literally seen him try to attack a God of Destruction level character in Topo <laughs> with a planet busting attack. The guy's lost his mind. He thinks he can beat Jiren in his final form. He then gets one-shotted in his golden form. Despite early in the tournament seeming to have some strategy, as soon as the going got tough, this guy has lost his senses. Topo literally squeezed his brain cells too hard and has lost his mind, I'm telling you. But that's Freezer. His ego constantly gets the better of him. And because of that, it shows that he has no self-reflection. Whereas with Android 17, if you go back to Dragon Ball Super episode 86, he even tells Goku that he thinks he would have lost the original fight in the Android saga, which shows he does have some self-reflection. And quite frankly, I think if they were fighting each other, Android 17's calm and collected nature would irritate Freezer. So I'm going to have to give this category of mentality to Android 17 again, which means Android 17 has taken four of these categories. The first category power level was pretty much a tie. You could give or take either way. Android 17 literally has an advantage over Freezer. Freezer would not be able to deal with Android 17 as soon as he starts to tire. Android 17 can still fight at the same intensity. Android 17 is a smart fighter as well. There is no way Freezer could win this fight. As soon as the going gets tough for Freezer against Android 17, he would literally lose his mind. He would have anger outbursts, which Android 17 would pick off strategically. Even Freezer's endurance would not hold up. And you could also argue that Android 17, from the information he collected from Dr. Jiro's bugs, would give him some insight onto how Freezer fights. As much as I love the character of Freezer, he would quite simply get spanked by Android 17. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you agree with my conclusion to this fight or do you believe there's something I've missed out? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Is there any other first battles you would like me to cover on this channel in the near future? I am open to suggestions. If you like my videos, keep smashing that like button, lending me your energy. If you enjoyed this video or enjoy my videos in general, make sure you are subscribed. Until next time, Ad Astra.